Michelle, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. In this video, we're going to talk about choosing the right pet sitter for you and your furry companions. And stick around till the end of the video because I have a bonus tip that most people don't ever think about doing. You don't want to miss it. here and like I said this video is all about choosing the right pet sitter for you and your furry companions. I know for me anytime I have to find a new sitter whether we move or my current sitter is unavailable I stress out big time. I mean no one is gonna care for my cats and my dog like I do and that's the first hurdle you have to get over. My husband always tells me if they're being cared for and they're happy that's all I can ask for and he's right. I mean you don't expect your kid sitter to be Mary Poppins do you? <laughs> so here are my top tips for picking the right pet sitter for you and your crew. First of all, I always choose a pet sitter over boarding. Why? Primarily because I want my pets to be comfortable and as confident as possible while I'm away, and there's no better way to do that than to control the environment. They shouldn't have to leave home just because you are. Also because there are some pretty shady boarding places out there, and I don't want to take the risk of my pet being neglected or mistreated. The first thing I do when looking for a sitter is ask friends and family, even neighbors, about who they use for their pets. I then go online and start doing research. Do they have good reviews? Do they have bad reviews? I search for local pet sitters online and I also look for their reviews. When I decide on a list to make phone calls, here are the questions I want answered. And if they don't have an answer up front, then they tend to get pushed to my no list. Uh, why do you like pet sitting? That's going to tell you a lot about the person. What exactly is provided in a visit? A 15 minute walk? A 30 minute walk? Cleaning litter boxes? Feeding meals? Giving medication? Do they spend quality time or play time with the pet? Uh, what kind of training do you have? What experience do you have? How long have you been pet sitting? Do you have liability insurance? And what is your emergency plan should my pet need to go to the ER vet or if my home is evacuated for natural disasters? That kind of thing. You need to be comfortable with all the answers provided to you. And if I have seen any negative reviews or comments online, I like to ask specifically about that situation. Don't be vague. Tell them exactly what you read and ask what happened. You can learn a lot about a person from the way they respond to criticism. Don't take this step lightly. It is important. Of course, you'll also want to ask about pricing and availability. Once you've narrowed down your selection, here's the bonus tip that I told you about at the beginning of the video. Once you've narrowed down your selection, invite your selections over to meet your pets. Have a conversation. See how they interact with your pets. See how your pets respond to them. I can learn so much about a person by the way my pets react to them. They know how to tell if a person is good or bad. Trust them on this. And once you've made a decision, here's the best tip of all. Do a trial run, a single visit or a full day, whatever you think will help you best decide. Be in town, maybe out running errands or taking Taking in a day with your husband or wife, just being out, going to a movie and having lunch, something where you can quickly assess how the sitter did and how your pets act once they've been around that sitter without you being there. This can make all the difference. I'm so lucky to have a wonderful pet sitter and although I don't look forward to the day when I have to find another one, I know these tips will be able to help me find someone who my pets and I both love. I hope you find this video helpful, so go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already joined the Train Positive group, check it out in the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time.